keep the medium the same. Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, founder at Pearl Lemon Sales. We're a sales training and development agency based in the UK as well as the USA and serving clients worldwide. And here today in day number 110 of 119 days of cold calling training, we're here to talk about keep the medium the same. But before we get into it, feel free to click the link in the description below to get access to 17 additional strategies that are not shared in this training. So fundamentally, one of the things that I see um, happening that, that shouldn't is making a medium switch when you move from first call to second call. So what I mean by that is that if you cold call someone and they pick up the phone, it means that they use the phone to you know have conversation have like have sales conversations so when you organize the follow up call or the second chat try not to switch it to like zoom or teams or online keep it the same because that's going to increase your chances of actually getting through to the person and communicating with the person also from a kind of psychological standpoint it's it's, it's just better to keep the keep the meeting on the same medium so, you know, if someone, for example, tends to, you know, you, you, you'll see it with clients. If you've got an email relationship with someone and they tend to use email most and that's where they conduct business, then stay on email with them, okay? If they're not really using calls, this section here, then, then, then don't use it as much. You're going to have less success than if you email. You know, we've got, we've got some clients who, if you actually call them, it's, it's a bit weird because they don't, they don't like receiving phone calls. They like receiving emails. They don't like being interrupted. Conversely, we've got clients who you'll send emails, but all they want to do is have a conversation with you. So keeping the medium the same is, 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 is important to ultimately your follow-up success. It will reduce the amount of, for example, no-shows that you have going into the second call. And this is something that we might discuss in advanced trainings down the line, what to do with no-shows and um, the, the strategies that you should put in place for that. But Fundamentally, if you're ringing someone, the follow-up would be, oh, Frank, so you're around on Tuesday uh, as well. Okay, brilliant. So we'll, we, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a call back. Um, shall I use the same number or do you prefer something? I mean, you can give people the option, okay? So you can say, would you, would you prefer I gave you a call back on the same number or is online better for you, like Zoom or Teams or something? And you can, you can give people, of course, the option. But where and when you feel that giving them the option because they're busy or giving the option isn't the appropriate thing to do, then just keeping the medium the same is definitely the safe approach when it comes to just, you know, organizing your follow up call. Changing it, it just leads to complications because then what's the correct Zoom link? Have they logged into Zoom before? How familiar are they with Zoom before Zoom? So there's all these little complications. So, for example, sometimes we get invite invites to like teams. And I don't use Teams that much, so I do have it on, I've got a couple of devices at home, um, but then if someone, for example, asked me to use Teams, depending upon the device, it's not, it's not that straightforward because I'm just not used to Teams as a function. And when I see Teams in an invite, I get a bit like annoyed. I'm like, oh, God, I've got to use Teams. So, you know, thinking about these possible scenarios when it comes to the people that you're booking in. It's something that I don't think anybody's thinking about. Like, you know, how is how is John with Teams? How is John with Zooms? How is John with Google Meet? So, so what you can say for certain is that if you've called them, then they're good with phone calls because they answered, you had a great conversation, you've organized a follow-up call. So keeping it on the same medium is definitely going to work. And it will mean that you'll get fewer no-shows, better conversations, and ultimately, a consistency of medium throughout. So there you have it, guys. Keep the medium the same to maintain the chances that this person's gonna show up for the second call. Because if you've been speaking to them on the phone, then well, on the follow-up, keep speaking them, keep speaking to them on the phone. And it's also because you don't necessarily cause them to change their investment level in the wrong place. I mean, you're trying to sell them on a product. So getting them to change medium and go on to like Google Meet as well as, for example, buy your product, it just becomes a, a, a lot tougher. And you can't know the pains that people might have with, for example, okay, my Wi-Fi where I am is patchy or this or that. Phone calls, if people are certainly picking up the phone, tend to work best. So there you have it, guys. When you organize a follow-up, keep the medium the same. 
Remember, we've got 17 one seven gated strategies just waiting for you. All you need to do is bing, subscribe, as well as click the link in the description below to get access to those 17. Get some.